Trevor Lawrence is still turning heads and looks to be the lock first overall selection when the 2021 NFL draft kicks off. But that shouldn't matter to Dolphin fans, as Tua Tungavailoa is stepping into his own. I rarely watch college football, as it's misleading. The speed of the game is not comparable to the NFL, so you can't consider it a like for like comparison. With that being said, you can watch college football just to see who looks like someone that is playing with a bunch of Pop Warner kids, and it wouldn't take that long to notice Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence is having the same hype that surrounded Tua Tungavailoa. Lawrence busted on the scene and won the NCAA championship. It wasn't as dramatic as Tua coming in for a benched quarterback and throwing a game-winning touchdown. Lawrence, the spotlight was focused on him the entire time and he just balled with three TDs and over 350 passing yards. He did fall last year to Joe Burrow, in the championship game, but the way he dominated Ohio State to get there is, some to get there is something that you can't ignore. In my eyes, Trevor Lawrence is the best quarterback prospect I've seen since Michael Vick. He has the ability to change the game with his legs and his arms. This is not a biased opinion, as I previously mentioned, it's rare that a college football player attracts this type of attention. Where am I going with this? During last year's NFL draft, I was hoping for the Miami Dolphins to trade out of their fifth overall selection and add more draft capital for the 2021 draft to obtain the rights to Trevor Lawrence. I honestly believed that he was the better choice. Comparing his stats to Tua alone, you can see that it wasn't even close, then you add to a hip injury, or ankle injury, or his dislocated finger injury, you get it, and as a Dolphin fan, you wanted a quarterback that could take a hit and not have a, handle with care, label. Look at the facts, the Dolphins had three first round picks last year. They could have easily traded out of the fifth overall section and received a plex in 2021 and 2022. The Dolphins were more than one player away from competing in this league and draft capital as the best asset to rebuild a struggling franchise. Tua is fragile. There is nothing anyone can prove or remove that label. Trevor Lawrence has never had a major injury concern and he's tearing up the best teams and potential prospects for the last two years. Then when the Dolphins were on the clock, Roger Goodell, made the biggest announcement in Miami Dolphins history since 1983, and Tua Tungavailoa was selected to don the aqua and teal. Since taking over for Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tua is starting to move out of Trevor Lawrence's shadow. Take out the Broncos game, and the Dolphins have a quarterback that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patrick Mahomes. He played against Bill Belichick's defense that had a 21-5 record against starting rookie QBs. Honestly, if you look at the list, it's hard to believe that Tua did something that no rookie has done since 2013. What I'm, what I'm seeing every week is a player that doesn't want to lose, playing for a coach that puts it all on the line. This is completely different from Joe Philbin and Ryan Tanhill, as Dolphin fans saw a team that was flat and took the persona of a calm game approach. That type of persona doesn't get any results in the NFL. Brian Flores is the complete opposite of Joe Philbin. His passion and dedication are present in every player donning the Dolphins on their helmet and is no more evident than in his starting quarterback, Tua. I don't believe Tua has had his coming out party, and I don't think he will have that this year. Tua needs more talent around him to start showing his best ability, his quick release. In this upcoming draft, Miami Dolphin fans can finally exhale knowing that they don't need to think about a quarterback, they need to start finding him more talent. The Tua era is here, and what he has shown on the field these past few weeks, is everything to all Dolphins fans. It's actually enough that Dolphin fans can finally turn the channel if Trevor Lawrence or any other QB is on because we finally have a QB.